Botanical Gardens. Today, Pepper and George are going to the Botanical Gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh dear, George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. <laughs> oh, oh. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No, our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop them melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow. wow! Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. Uh -oh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. <laughs> wow. Come on, George. Whee! Peppa loves all the botanical gardens, especially the muddy one. The petting farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy! 
Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello! Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands! That's right! <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly! <laughs> I love bubbles! And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <laughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens! Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh, and their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. <laughs> strawberries. Peppa and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Pepper and George love <laughs> strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? <laughs> You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh. You cheeky bird! <laughs> So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. 
It's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow! So many strawberries. Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Peppa. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Peppa. <coughs> Yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. Maybe it's time to go home. Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. What? Strawberries? Oh. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Oh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. Miss Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam! Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. The Sun Castle. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George have come to the seaside. I'm going to make a sand castle. <laughs> I want to make a sandcastle too. And me. OK, George and me will show you how. <laughs> Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. Good. Now, lift up the bucket. Ta-da! Ta-da! Pepper, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Nay. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together, like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sandcastle. Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too, with her daddy. That's a good castle. 
Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sandcastle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Ah! Wendy Wolf is using pebbles to make the castle's bobbly bits. And it needs flags. <laughs> Pepper and George are collecting little sticks and some seaweed to make flags. <laughs> it needs windows. <laughs> Pedro is using shells to make windows. <laughs> there. What a fantastic sandcastle. Let's add a moat. What's a moat? You'll see. We dig the moat all around outside the wall. Good idea. Everyone help dig. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to fill the moat with water. Let's get water from the sea. <laughs> 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 the moat is full of water. The castle's finished! Hooray! I wish it could be my home and I could live in it. <laughs> You're too big to live in a sandcastle, Pepper. Here is Mr Crab. He's come to take a look at the castle. Hello, Mr Crab. Do you have a home to live in? Aw, he looks sad. <coughs> I don't think Mr Crab has a home. He can live in our castle. Yes, in you go, Mr Crab. <coughs> oh, but how does he get across the moat? He needs a bridge. <coughs> <laughs> George has found a piece of driftwood. <coughs> George has made a bridge. Mr Crab likes the bridge. But he can't get inside the castle. We just need to make a little door. Mr Crab is the king of the castle. <laughs> it's the best sandcastle in all the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Please and thank you. Granny and Grandpa Pig are having breakfast at Peppa's house. Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Peppa. Thank you. <sniffs> well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. <laughs> Pepper and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that, because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. Thing. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Oh, oh, it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. Thank you. This is Peppa's playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr. Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <laughs> Madame 
So, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Oh, yes, the magic words. Please tell us about them. If you want something, you need to say please. <coughs> and if somebody gives you something, you say thank you. Very good. Oh, this is something we can all practice with a little game. I will need two children, Susie Sheep <laughs> and Danny Dog. <coughs> now, Susie has an apple. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Susie. And Danny would like that apple. Yes, I would like that apple. OK, Danny, ask Susie for the apple. Can I have that apple? Yes. Mmm, yummy. Let's try that again. When you ask for something, Danny, you must remember to say the magic word. Abracadabra. No. What is the magic word, children? Please. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Then off you go. Can I have that apple, please? No. Susie. He's already got an apple. This is not about apples. It is about saying please. OK. Here's another apple. And now, Danny? What? The other magic word. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hairs, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing <laughs> What wonderful singing, children! You will all go on the being nice tree Hooray! <laughs> I finished cutting the grass, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. Madame Gazelle! What? What is it? You forgot to say thank you. Oh, yes. How rude of me. Thank you, Mr. Bull, for all your hard work. It was my pleasure. And thank you, children, for reminding me to say my please and thank yous. <laughs> Madame Gazelle likes to say please and thank you. Everyone <laughs> likes to say please and thank you. Pizza, pizza! <laughs> it is almost lunchtime at Peppa's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. <laughs> Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour. Tomatoes. Cheese. And for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn. Mushrooms. Olives. Pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah! Pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean and put our aprons on. <laughs> right, let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza! Pepper, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> Sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> and George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay. That's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. 
Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Ho, oh, oh, ho! This one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. <laughs> I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. <laughs> Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. <laughs> George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up. And George and I can do some playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Peppa! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, your pizza looks like you. Oh, thank you very much. And your pizza looks like you, Daddy. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Pepper. Does it? Oh, goody! And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world ever. <laughs> Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Children's Festival. Pepper is going to a children's festival. Daddy, what is a festival? It's a big outdoor party with lots to see and do. I just hope it doesn't rain, otherwise it can get a bit muddy. Don't worry, it won't be muddy. Oh, I like mud. This is the children's festival. Wow! wow. <laughs> Welcome to the festival! At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Isn't this great? It's brilliant. There's so much going on. What shall we do first? We've got making things, sandcastles, storytelling. Yes, I like stories. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> This is the story tent. All of Peppa's <laughs> friends are here. Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just a story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Oh, oh. I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden days hat? How about a dragon? Me! Me! All the children are making dragons. <laughs> wow, those dragons are good. Almost like the real thing. Dragons are not real. They are mythical creatures. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying 
here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! Great. <laughs> <laughs> this is the camping area. Hello! Hello, Peppa. Are you camping too? We're not camping, we're glamping. What's glamping? It's like camping, but with lots of home comforts. We've got a bathroom with a basin and a bath and a toilet. <laughs> and we've got a living room. And a TV. Wow. wow. Glamping looks great. Daddy, are we glamping? No, we have our own little tent. Hopefully, it's not too difficult to put up. It shouldn't be a problem. After all, I am a qualified structural engineer. Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Hooray! Are you enjoying the festival? It's brilliant. Yes, and it's lucky it hasn't rained. Too right. When it rains, this field just becomes mud. We like mud. But mud and camping don't go so well together. Ho, ho! It's not going to rain. Night, night, everyone. Night, night. 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 Peppa and her family are sleeping in their little tent at the children's festival. Oh dear, it is starting to rain. Parking ticket. <laughs> Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. They have made a bit of a mess. <laughs> My goodness, what a mess! Oh, sometimes, Peppa, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm, why do children get told off? Grown-ups don't get told off. Ho, ho, ho. That's one of the very few good things about being a grown-up. There, lovely and tidy. Right, I'm off to the shops. Can George and me come too? OK. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa, why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh! What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh! There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. Daddy, is a parking ticket like being told off? Uh, yes, Peppa. It's like being told off. Mummy, Mummy, Daddy got a ticket. That's nice. What did he get a ticket for? The cinema or the circus or... I got a parking ticket. Oh, well, hopefully it was just a mistake. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look, it's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine, nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. 
This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> And even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. To me, George. Vote to me. <laughs> Mr Labrador is here in his new ice cream van. Ice, ice cream. cream. Hooray. Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Hello, Mrs Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. oh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. <coughs> what do you want, George? Ice cream. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, lovely. Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then, can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> hmm, maybe I've tried too many myself. Yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes, we used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. <laughs> Up the board now, take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! <coughs> Let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. Oh. We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt and wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Pepper. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Pepper. Ice cream, ice cream! <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me, and I think it might be ready. Did it work? Yes. Ooh. Mmm. <coughs> it's the best ice cream in the world. Yum, yum. Granny, can all my friends come for ice cream? Of course they can, Peppa. Oh, in that case, we'll need to make a lot more ice cream. Hooray! Hooray! Ice cream! All of Peppa's friends are here for ice cream. Hooray! Can I have 
a banana. Can I have raspberry? Can I have blueberry, please? Here you go. <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. Mmm, that's delicious. Have you got carrot flavour? Oh, I don't think so. Yes, we do. Made with carrots from my very own garden. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> I love ice cream. We all love ice cream, Mr Labrador. Yes, but I really love ice cream. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jukebox. Pepper and George have been sailing with Granny and Grandpa Pig. All ashore! Aye, Captain! <laughs> I'm rather thirsty. Shall we have a juice in the clubhouse? Yes, please! Ah, uh, the clubhouse is a bit stuffy, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Not much fun for Pepper and George. That's all right, Granny. We only want a juice. It is very quiet in the clubhouse. Could we have four fruit juices, please? Do you have a membership card, sir? Of course. Very good, sir. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. Good to see you, old bean. Shh. Sorry. What are all these people doing here, Granny? I don't know, Pepper. Mostly sleeping, I think. Oh, what's this? It's a jukebox. It plays music. I like music. But it looks like this one hasn't played music in a long time. Four fruit juices. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> a jukebox? Yes, but it's not playing music. It might play music if we put a coin in. Uh, we don't want to disturb anybody. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> There wouldn't be a jukebox here if they didn't want us to play it. I suppose so. Let's choose something quiet. Of course. Coin, please. Thank you. Ooh. Now, where's the rock and roll music? <laughs> here we are. Rock and roll. <laughs> this is rock and roll music. Come on, George, let's go! We're gonna roll, roll, roll. Rock and roll. We're gonna rock. What's all this noise? I am so sorry. Yes, here you should be. Disco music is what you want to play. Disco music? I'll show you. Have you got a coin? Of course. Thank you. Here we go. Get ready to groove on down. <laughs> this is disco music. Groove on down to the disco town. What a racket! Why don't you play something good? So, what do you think is good music then? Hip hop. Has anyone got a coin? Grandpa has coins. OK, here you go. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip This hop. is hip-hop music. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip-hop. Well, I never. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> With a hip and a hop, you got a hip-hop. <laughs> Mrs Corby? Is dancing like a robot. Wow! Look at that! With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Is somebody having a party? It is Grampy Rabbit. Excuse me, sir, but are you a member? No, but I'm with him. Uh, hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hi there. I heard music. We found a jukebox. Does he play my kind of music? And what, dare I ask, is your kind of music? Heavy metal, of course. And I suppose you need a coin. Thanks, old chap. This is heavy metal music. <laughs> 
This is the only music to dance to. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves dancing to the jukebox. Everybody loves dancing to the jukebox. Breakfast Club. Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Is it because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to play group early because today is Breakfast Club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at Breakfast Club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, no thank, thank you. you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hopla! Got it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm me, me, I'm me. Me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh. It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again, again! No, children, eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam, toast, toast, toast. toast. Breakfast is over and everyone is ready to start the day. Miss Rabbit's relaxation class. Mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> Peppa, George and Daddy Pig are getting ready to go out. Peppa, are you ready for playgroup? Yes, Daddy. 
I just need my shoes. <laughs> George, remember you're going to a children's party? <laughs> Have you seen my briefcase? I'm sure I left it in here. You're holding it. Oh, yes. Ho, oh, oh. ho. <laughs> We're off now. Bye. 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 Ah, lovely and quiet. <laughs> now I can work on my computer. Mummy Pig likes working on her computer. Hello? Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you doing anything today? I'm working on my computer. Oh, that's not good. Computers make you stressed. You need to come to my relaxation class. Relaxation class? What's that? It's where you learn to unwind and find your inner happiness. You'll feel amazing afterwards. Actually, that does sound nice. Great! See you at the sports centre. This is the sports centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I'm here for the relaxation class. Hello, sports centre. Relaxation class is through that way. You want to book a bouncy castle? No problem. Hello, is this the relaxation class? Yes. We're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Hello! Welcome to the relaxation class. It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, sports centre? OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Relax. <laughs> hello, Mummy. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Pepper. I've come to do a class. Me too. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness, silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker! Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump! Relax! <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how high I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? <laughs> yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig loves bouncy castles. Everybody loves bouncy castles. <laughs> Windmills. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. It is playtime. Play nicely, children. Moo! Here is Mr. Bull. Morning, Madam Gazelle. Sorry about the noise. What noise? That noise! We've got a big job on this hill. Uh, thank you for your patience at this time. Madam Gazelle, what is Mr. Bull building? I don't know, Peppa. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr. Bull has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He 
is making a swimming pool. A swimming pool! Hooray! No, that's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket! A rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh, it's a windmill. Yes, Peppa, it is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle, is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. Ah! Back inside, children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madame Gazelle? Yes. We will need paper and glue and some straws. Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. First, you fold a square piece of paper, like so. We make a little snip from each corner, put a blob of glue in the middle of the paper, then we fix one side of each corner to the middle. Now, all we need is a straw and a paper fastener to fix our paper windmill. There! A windmill! Wow! Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a green windmill. I'm going to make a red one. <laughs> I will make a big one. <laughs> First we fold to the corners. Then a grown-up can do the snipping. Next we put a blob of glue in the middle. Then stick it all down. One side of each corner, Freddy. Now we pin it to the straw. Maybe I should do the pinning, Pepper. There. <laughs> it's a spinny windmill. Is everyone's windmill spinning? <laughs> yes. 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 yes! yes! Mine's not. Edmund has built a big windmill. I can't blow hard enough. Maybe if we all blow together. <gasps> wow! It's as big as Mr. Bull's windmill. Let's go and see how he's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull's windmill is finished. Wow! Are you making lots of electricity, Mr. Bull? Yes, and we're using the electricity for something very important. Mr. Bull is boiling a kettle. Tea break, lads! All the electricity from the windmill has made a pot of tea. Oh, lovely. That hits the spot. Mr. Bull and his friends like tea. What a wonderful windmill, Mr. Bull. And how useful it is. <laughs> Windmills are brilliant! <laughs> Peppa loves windmills. Everyone loves windmills. Detective Potato. Peppa and George are watching Detective Potato on TV. Help me, Detective Potato. I cannot find my bicycle. Aha! This is your bicycle. Uh, no, it is not. Then this is your bicycle. Yes, it is. Thank you, Detective Potato. Oh, oh, Detective Potato is great at solving mysteries. He's the best detective in the world. Right, that's enough potato for today. We're going to the shopping centre. Oh, goody. I love the shopping centre. What are we going to buy at the shops? A big bag of gravel. I'm trying out a new concrete mix idea. Oh. This is the shopping centre. First, Daddy Pig has to find somewhere to park. Hmm, this floor is full. So where do we park, Daddy? Don't worry, there are lots of other floors. Oh, this floor is full too. Oh, oh, up we go. Everywhere 
hair looks the same. Yes, that's why you must always remember what floor you park your car on, so you can find your car again. I don't believe it. Not a single space. There's a space. Brilliant. Well done, Pepper. The car is parked. Now we take the lift to the shops. What button do we press? Let's see. Are the shops on floor six or floor three? Here we go. Floor five for the shops. Here is Miss Rabbit's gravel shop. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. One bag of gravel, please. Help yourself. It's heavy, so I hope you don't have far to go. Oh, <laughs> I only have to carry it to the car. <laughs> My goodness, that is a bit heavy. I hope you find your car. I'm always losing my car in that huge car park. <sighs> what button do I press, Daddy? Just press the number of the floor we parked on. So, what floor do we park on? Uh, good question. Let's try level six. Where is our car, Daddy? It doesn't seem to be here. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has lost the car. Uh, let's try another floor. This is fun! Pepper likes going up uh. and down in the lift. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Here are Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Is there anything we can help you with? Daddy has lost our car. Well, it's not really lost. I've just forgotten exactly where I parked it. A lost car in a place of hundreds of cars where everywhere looks the same. This will be a very hard mystery to solve. Name, please. Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig. Address? Can't we just look for the car? <laughs> I'm afraid not. This will take time to solve. It's not like on the television where they solve mysteries in a flash. <laughs> Detective Potato! At your service. Detective Potato? Daddy lost our car. Aha! That is a mystery only I can solve. Thank you, but we don't need any help. We have the situation under control. Quiet, please. I need silence to work. This is your car. Uh, no. This is your car. Nope. This is your car. Yes, that is our car. Detective Potato has solved the mystery. Hooray! Oh, well done. That was amazing! Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's all in a day's work for a potato. <laughs> <laughs> fire station practice. Today is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Pepper. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. <sniffs> this first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! Whee! Into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready, now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready? Steady! Go! Mummy Dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. 
Mummy Pony rolls out the hose and Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. Steady, Mummy. Steady. The target is hit and the fire is out. Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes. Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on. OK. It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes! And how do we get super fit? On the Fire Station Obstacle Course. This is the Fire Station Obstacle Course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go! Go! Yee! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. Ah! Through the tricky tippy-toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <sighs> And down the yippee zip wire. Yippee! 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 Oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Everyone likes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles to jump in. World Book Day. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, tomorrow is World Book Day. When we celebrate the wonder of books. I love books. Me, me, too. Too. me, me too. too. Good. Please come to playgroup dressed as someone from your favourite book. Can I come as Super Potato? Is Super Potato in a book? No, he's on TV. No, it must be a character from a book. Can I come as someone from a fairy tale? Yes. It can be any book you like. Remember your costumes for World Book Day tomorrow. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, it's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Peppa? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes. <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess. From this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peppa. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931 Most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. 
George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <coughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. <coughs> my favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Peppa. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my! What wonderful costumes! Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. <laughs> 176,859,312 Oh, what an amazing choice Ah, George, you are dressed as... Dinosaur <laughs> But where is Peppa? Here I am Ooh. What book are you, Peppa? I am all my favourite books I have fairy wings, a pirate hat, a har, a red monkey tail, and quack quack duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. In the future. Peppa is at Susie Sheep's house this evening. Mummy Sheep and Mummy Pig are going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow. In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh. But grown-ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun. Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> night, night. Sleep well. Night, night. night. <sighs> Susie. Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema and staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> So will I. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes! I'm off to space. <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Grrr. <laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <coughs> Very good.
good. Off you go, then. Bye! Bye. What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> what will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> we will live in a big house with fountains. And a swing. <laughs> and I will marry Pedro. Or Danny. And I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello. And all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> but who will look after all these children? We will. Bedtime, everybody. Time for your tea. No football in the house. Phew. Phew. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep have arrived back home. Hello. Has everything been okay? Yes, everything's been fine. Hello. Are you two still awake? Yes, Mummy. We've been thinking about the future. <coughs> it's very tiring being a grown up. Yes, it is. <sighs> we need to get some rest. Yes, you do. Good night, little ones. Good night, grown-ups. Pepper and Susie need a good night's rest to be ready for the future. The perfect day. Pepper and her family are going to a shopping centre today. That's a big shop. It's not one shop, Pepper. It's lots of shops all under the same roof. Wow! But we're not shopping today. Not shopping at the shops? No. Mummy's here for a perfect day experience. Ooh! This is Miss Rabbit's spa. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for your perfect day experience? Yes, I think so. But what exactly is it? Oh, lots of lovely things. You can have a massage. <clears throat> have your fingernails painted. Or have a herbal face wash. Oh, that all sounds lovely. Do we have to go at two, Daddy? No, Peppa. We can go and find our own perfect day. Oh, goody. Bye, Mummy. See you later. Where are we going to find our perfect day, Daddy? Hmm, I don't know. It's just shops and shops and... Ooh, magic moving stairs. That, Pepper, is an escalator. Can we go on it? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah! You're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. Peppa and George are back at the bottom. But Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Peppa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> you a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. 
Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> Again, again, again! I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Mummy! <coughs> did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Pepper. Did you? Yes! We went up and down the magic stairs and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time! Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end! To a perfect day! <laughs> Bird spotting! It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. Granny and <laughs> Grandpa Pig have come to visit. Hello, everyone! I like your funny hat, Grandpa. Thank you, Peppa. Today I'm doing a bit of bird spotting. What's bird spotting? It's Grandpa's latest little hobby. I suppose it keeps him happy. Uh, yes. I look for birds, and when I spot them, I tick them off in my book. Look, this is a robin redbreast. I spotted one in my garden. Ooh. Of course, what I'd love to spot is a very rare bird, like a cuckoo. Never mind, Grandpa. I'm sure you will one day. Yes. In fact, I was um, actually hoping to do a bit of bird spotting before lunch. If that's OK. No problem. Lunch won't be ready for ages. Grandpa, can George and me go bird spotting too? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll call you when lunch is ready. The best place to spot birds is where there are trees. Birds like trees. Um, but there aren't any birdies here, Grandpa. Ah, but I know a clever trick. We pretend to be a bird. <whistles> then hopefully a bird will hear our call and fly here. Look, Grandpa, a birdie. Ah, yes, that is a sparrow. A good start. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. I see you're doing some bird spotting. Yes. Us too. We've just spotted one of our rarest birds in the world. A ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. Amazing to find one this far north. Well done. I spotted a sparrow. Oh, yes. A common sparrow. Well done, you. See you later. Bye. Now, um, let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. Ah. <laughs> it worked! Uh, I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. <laughs> ah, here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. <laughs> Look, Grandpa! Pigeons! Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. How are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Um, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Pepper, George, Grandpa! Lunch is ready. Oh, goody! Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, it worked. Well done, old chap. Cuckoo. <laughs> it's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Peppa's toy cuckoo clock. 
Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. You're in here somewhere. But Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. <coughs> ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should tick it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... Okay, if everyone thinks it's fair... <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs> Buried treasure. <laughs> Molly Mole and Freddy Fox have come to play with Pepper and George. What shall we play? Let's do digging. Um, I'm not very good at digging. I am. Squeak. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Mole is good at digging. Wow! Molly's digging a long tunnel. <laughs> oh, I found something. What is it? Wow! It's a pirate treasure chest. I wonder how it got there. It's a mystery. We'd better tell my daddy. My goodness, where did this hole come from? Daddy! We found some pirate treasure at the end of our tunnel. Treasure? How did it get there? We don't know. It's a mystery. Maybe we should call the police. <laughs> They'll know what to do. This is the police station. Hello, police station. Hello, it's Daddy Pig here. We found some pirate treasure. Pirate treasure, you say? We'll be right there. Hello, 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 hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. <laughs> so, where's this pirate treasure then? Under the ground. We were just digging this tunnel when suddenly we found this. Yes, yes, yes. That's pirate treasure, all right. It's just like the pirate treasure we have back at the police station. Let's take this back and put it with the other one. Oh, dear. Police officer Panda is dropping coins along the way. Right. Back to the police station. <laughs> Can we have the Nina, please? Why not? Nina, Nina! to the lost property. Down here is where we keep all the lost things. Wow! Umbrellas, shoes, a lamppost, even a lost cupboard. Ah, oh, that's not lost, Freddy. This is where we keep the pirate treasure. Oh, it's gone. That's strange. Another mystery. Hello, hello, hello. There's a hole in the wall. And a tunnel. Someone has dug a hole and taken our treasure chest down the tunnel. A criminal mastermind, no doubt. I wonder where it goes. Look, there are coins on the floor. Uh-huh, a trail. Let's follow the trail. We'll soon find out who took our treasure. We're outside my house. And the trail of coins ends. Now we'll never know who took the treasure from the police station. It's a mystery. I know who took it. Who? We did. Eh? Follow me. <laughs> This is the tunnel we dug this morning. Yes. It goes all the way back to the police station. And? We didn't know it was the police station, but this is where we found the treasure. So you found the pirate treasure that was in our lost property cupboard. Yes. Mystery solved. Well done, Freddy. Hooray! Hooray! That was excellent police work. Yes. I do believe you'll make a very good police officer one day. Just remember to keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> Who left that lamppost there? 
That's not a safe place for a lamppost. I'll make a note. Dangerous obstruction in workplace environment. Ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. And the mystery of the buried pirate treasure is solved. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Bat and ball. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will be playing bat and ball. Ooh. First, we need to practice our throwing and catching. Catch the ball, Pepper. <laughs> to you, Susie. <laughs> to me, Susie. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll fetch it. <laughs> to me, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. But we are practicing our throwing too. Oh yes. <laughs> and now to you, George. Oh. George has dropped the ball. George is not very good at catching. Don't worry, George. Try throwing the ball instead. To me, George. Throw it to me. <laughs> oh, George has thrown the ball backwards. George! I'll fetch it. <laughs> Danny is good at fetching the ball. <laughs> I like fetching. That's good, because fetching is an important part of bat and ball too. Can we play bat and ball now? Yes, Peppa will throw the ball. I'm good at that. And Susie will hit the ball with this bat. I'm good at that. The rest of us will all run after the ball. And I'm good at that. Susie, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie, run! Oh, yes! <laughs> Quick, get the ball! Get it! I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Peppa. Oh, all right. Just try your best. George. <gasps> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! <laughs> George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! <laughs> Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> And now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bet and ball, Peppa. OK. Just try your best. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run. <laughs> Catch the ball! I'll get it! Let me get, get the it. ball! Hooray! That's one point! The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again! I'll get it! Yeah. It's going the other way! Round again! Get the ball! I'm scoring lots of points! Get it! Here it comes! Catch the ball! Did you catch the ball? No. Did you get it, Susie? No. Who's got it? I haven't got it. I win! I win! I am the champion! <laughs> George caught the ball. Hooray! I lose. I lose all my points. Well done, George. Hooray! George loves playing bat and ball. Everybody loves playing bat and ball, even Madame Gazelle. Bat and ball. It is a lovely sunny day. 
Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will be playing bat and ball. Ooh. First, we need to practice our throwing and catching. Catch the ball, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Susie. <laughs> to me, Susie. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll fetch it. <laughs> to me, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. But we are practicing our throwing, too. Oh, yes. <laughs> and now to you, George. Oh. George has dropped the ball. George is not very good at catching. Don't worry, George. Try throwing the ball instead. To me, George. Throw it to me. <laughs> oh, George has thrown the ball backwards. George! I'll fetch it. <laughs> Danny is good at fetching the ball. <laughs> I like fetching. That's good, because fetching is an important part of bat and ball too. Can we play bat and ball now? Yes, Peppa will throw the ball. I'm good at that. And Susie will hit the ball with this bat. I'm good at that. The rest of us will all run after the ball. And I'm good at that. Susie, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Ah. Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie, run. Oh, yes. <laughs> Quick, get the ball. Get it. <laughs> I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Peppa. Oh, all right. Just try your best. George. <gasps> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! <laughs> George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! <laughs> Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> And now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bet and ball, Pepper. Okay. Just try your best. Ooh. Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run. <laughs> Catch the ball! I'll get it! Let's get, get the it. ball! Hooray! That's one point! The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again! I'll get it! Let's it. It. go the other way! way. <laughs> round again! Get the ball! I'm scoring lots of points! Get it! Here it comes! Catch the ball! Catch the ball? No. Did you get it, Susie? No. Who's got it? I haven't got it. I win! I win! I am the champion! <laughs> George caught the ball. Hooray! I lose. I lose all my points. Well done, George. Hooray! George loves playing <laughs> bat and ball. Everybody loves playing bat and ball. Even Madam Gazelle. <laughs> Funny music. It is morning. Pepper and George are having breakfast. Daddy Pig is about to go to work. Who could that be? Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Bye now. Bye-bye. What is it, Daddy? It's a synthesizer. Ooh. What's a synthesizer? I'll show you. 
Wow! It's a little piano! Yes! It is like a piano, but with buttons. What do the buttons do, Daddy? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, here's a book that tells you what the buttons do. Ah, it looks a little more complicated than I thought. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll learn all about it while you are at work. Thank you, Peppa. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's play the sinking sizer. Okay, first we need to switch it on. Then we can play it just like a piano. Ooh, can we have a go? Yes. We are good at the piano, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do the buttons do? We can use the buttons to record sounds. What kind of sounds? Anything you like. Say something, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> That's me! Now we can play the sound like a piano. <laughs> <laughs> can we do some recording? Of course. Say something, George. I saw. George, this is you. I saw. <laughs> Let's do lots of sounds and surprise Daddy. What a good idea. Come on, George. <laughs> Peppa and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy. There's just one more. Come on, George. Follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me. We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh it certainly is. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. The Panda Twins. Peppa is going to playgroup with her friends. Peggy and Pandora Panda are coming too for their first day at playgroup. Have a great day, girls. We will, Daddy. Remember to keep your ears and eyes open. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I will ring you later to let you know how they are getting on. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mademoiselle. Today, two new pupils are joining our playgroup. Pandora Panda. Hello. And Peggy Panda. Hello, everyone. Hello. Wow, you both look the same. That's because we're identical twins. Identical <laughs> twins look like each other. Do people get you mixed up? Sometimes, but it's okay. We're used to it. Peggy, Pandora, as it is your first time at playgroup, you may both choose what we do today. 
Hmm, we like solving mysteries and we like doing puzzles. Mysteries and puzzles. Let me see. Yes, we have a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! We love jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cloud. And here is the sun. Maybe they fit together. No, they don't fit. Try turning that piece around. Now they fit. Where does this piece go? Hmm, try putting the blue sky with the blue sky. It fits! <coughs> and the green grass with the green grass. <laughs> the jigsaw is finished. It's a picture of a house on a sunny day. Well done, children. <laughs> that was great teamwork. Are you enjoying your day, Pandora, Peggy? Yes, thank you. We love doing puzzles and solving mysteries. Our daddy is a policeman. Ooh. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. And they go... Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place. Every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. Oh, what a mystery. Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Yes? Well, if we keep our ears open and somebody calls your phone, then we will hear it ringing. And find my phone. Good idea. <laughs> Peggy and Pandora are very good at solving mysteries. So, who here has a phone? Madam Gazelle, we are little children. Little children do not have mobile phones. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Hello! The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Good afternoon, mummies and daddies. Could I ask one of you to call my phone, please? I can ring you, Madam Gazelle, but is it not easier to talk to you? I have lost my phone. If you call it, we will hear it ringing. And then you will find your phone. I understand. Brilliant. Oh, it's in my handbag. It was in your handbag all the time. Yes. Sorry about that, everyone. What a clever idea to call your phone to find it. That was Peggy and Pandora's idea. What? You solved the case of the missing phone? Yes. That's my girls. Peggy and Pandora Panda <laughs> love solving mysteries. Everybody loves solving mysteries. Buttercups, daisies and dandelions. Peppa and her family are visiting Cousin Chloe's house for the day. Hello! Hello! Hello, Chloe! <laughs> As it's such a sunny day, we thought we'd have a picnic in the garden. Oh, that would be lovely. Come on, Peppa and George. <laughs> Race you! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good spot for a picnic. Mmm, yes! <laughs> Ooh, look at all the flowers in the grass. Yes, let's pick them. I will pick the buttercups. I will pick the daisies. <laughs> no, George, you need to find your own flower to pick. <laughs> Ooh. George has found some very pretty flowers. George, don't pick the flowers in the flower bed. Only pick the flowers in the grass. <laughs> Chloe is collecting buttercups. Pepper is collecting daisies. George is collecting grass. <laughs> Don't pick grass, George. Pick dandelions, like this one. <laughs> Pepper, George, would you like to see a trick with buttercups? Yes, please. <laughs> George, do you like butter? George does not know if he likes butter. Let me see. 
Yes, George, you do like butter. <laughs> How can you tell? If I hold a buttercup under George's chin and it shines yellow, that means he likes butter. <gasps> do it to me! Do it to me! Pepper, do you like butter? You do! <laughs> it's true! I do like butter! <laughs> I've got a trick I can do with daisies. Oh, what's that? If I put a daisy under your chin and it shines yellow, then, um, then that means you like cheese. Really? Yes. George, do you like cheese? <laughs> cheese. Yes, George does like cheese. Oh, there's no yellow. Are you sure you like cheese, George? <laughs> I think they are the wrong type of daisies. Oh. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow. wow. Let me try. Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the Daisy Queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the Daisy Queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. Oh! George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen, and this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, <laughs> I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Grandpa Pig's metal detector. Pepper and George are visiting Grandpa and Granny Pig. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, my little ones. What have you got there, George? Robots! It's a robot called Mr. Robot. Shall I show you how it works? Yes, yes please. please. Mr. Robot can walk all by himself, but you need to use this. It's called a key. Oh. You put the key in here, like this, and turn it. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh, it stopped. The long grass is stopping it from walking. Perhaps you could cut it, Grandpa Pig. Yes, maybe later. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh. Where's the key? It must have fallen out when Mr. Robot was walking. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'm sure we can find it, can't we, Grandpa? Yes, I have the very thing for finding lost keys in long grass. Now, where is it? The lawnmower is right in front of you, Grandpa Pig. But I'm not looking for the lawnmower. I'm looking for this, my metal detector. Metal detectors are good at finding lost keys. Oh, it's not in the box. Is the metal detector lost as well? I'm afraid so. Oh dear. Sorry, George. The key is lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> Who can that be? Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Fox. What can I sell you this morning? I've a solar-powered torch, 
a wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr. Fox. Unless you've got a metal detector. Metal detector? Well, why didn't you say so? I've got a metal detector right here. Fantastic. It's just like my old one. It's got three settings, finding things, good at finding things, and really good at finding things. Excellent. We'll take it. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Pepper. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Pepper. And that's how you find things with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here. There. Here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> here. There. There's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> key, key! George wants to find the key. Ooh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key! Hooray! <laughs> now we can wind up Mr Robot. No! George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. <laughs> oh! You found something really big. It's your old metal detector, Grandpa Pig. It was hidden in the long grass all the time. No. <laughs> Excellent. Now I have two metal detectors. When one gets lost, I can find it with the other. But what if they both get lost? Then I'll cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy Mouse. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. They are drawing pictures. Children, today we have a visitor. Ooh! Mandy Mouse. Hello, everyone. Squeak! Hello. Hello! Mandy Mouse uses a wheelchair to get around. Mandy is spending the day at our playgroup. If she likes it, she will come every day. See you later, Mandy. Have fun. Bye, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. I'm Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa. Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> and I'm Susie Sheep. <laughs> We're drawing pictures. I drew the sun. Ooh. I drew a cloud. Ooh. I drew the sky. That's nice. I like drawing aeroplanes. Wow! wow. That's a really good drawing. Thank you. <laughs> It is playtime. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? <laughs> because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. Squeak! OK, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> Pedro, <laughs> Molly Squeak! and Emily. <laughs> The children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules. And the you're one not holding the ball. I say you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> okay. okay. 
And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. Now Susie has it. Pass to Pedro. And now to Peppa. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. To Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> Mandy, you're good. I know. I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can do it by myself. <laughs> I like... Hills. <laughs> it is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Where I lived before, it was all flat. Everything is on a hill around here. My house is on a hill. The supermarket is on a hill. Rebecca Rabbit lives inside a hill. <laughs> it's all hills, hills, hills. <laughs> have you all had fun today, children? Yes! <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Aw, is it home time already? Yes, Mandy, it's home time. Hello, my sweet. Mummy! So, Mandy, you came today to see if you liked our playgroup. Yes. And do you like our playgroup? Yes, I love it. And would you like to come every day? Yes, please. Hooray! <laughs> Mandy Mouse loves the playgroup and everyone at playgroup loves Mandy Mouse. <laughs>